Hello, I'm Sherelle Connaughton from Monash Mindfulness, and this is a Mindful Moment Meditation. As our world is facing COVID-19, we're all experiencing different changes and challenges. And although many of these things are out of our control, there is something that we can do. We can choose how to respond to the situation. And we can choose where to direct our attention at any given moment. We can choose to try and see the situation with as much clarity and perception as we can so that we can accept things really fully as they are and what we can do about them right now and let go of what we cannot. And because mindfulness can help us practice these skills of presence, perception, acceptance and letting go, let's practice a mindful meditation now, focusing particularly on letting go and letting be. So please take a moment to settle into a comfortable position. You might like to close the eyes. That feels comfortable for you. And simply notice how you feel right here and right now. Then bring your awareness to the hands. And slowly begin to clench your fists. Curl the fingers in tightly and squeeze, feeling tension in the hands. Breathe in and as you next exhale, simply release the hands and let go observing any sensations, especially around the palms and the fingers. Now let's clench the fists again, but also lift the shoulders towards the ears, deliberately tightening the neck, the shoulders and the arms. Hold steady as you inhale. And as you next exhale, completely release and notice how it feels to physically let go. Gently scan from the top of the body, witnessing any sensations around the face, the head, the neck, the shoulders and the arms. And know that when we let go of physical tension, we often start to feel more open and free. And even if there is still some tightness remaining that's difficult to let go of, please know that this is very common. So it's not always easy to release muscular tension completely. But we can practice being accepting of the body as it is in this moment, knowing that there's always things that can change and you may sense a greater or smaller release the next time you practice. Let's bring the awareness now to the feet. Begin to squeeze and curl the toes a little and then exhale and let go, providing a greater sense of groundedness and release through the soles of the feet. And tighten around the toes once more, but also begin to tighten the legs, especially the thigh muscles, holding as you inhale. And as you next exhale, release completely through the lower half of your body and be aware of any sensations there. And then allow that part of the body to simply be. And as we bring our attention now to the middle of the body, let's aim to take a slightly deeper breath than usual. Pause at the top of the inhalation and release fully as you exhale. Take another deep breath. This time aim to exhale slowly, pausing briefly at the end of the exhalation and seeing if there's anything more to release and let go. And then bring your attention back to the normal breath and simply allow it to be. And as we observe the breath for a short time now, know that the breath often changes while we practice, sometimes becoming a little slower and deeper or perhaps very gentle and light. And sometimes there is little change at all. And because the breath is usually very good at matching what the body needs, we can allow it to flow freely and simply be. We can choose to breathe a little deeper from time to time if need be. Now I invite you to bring your attention to the sounds around you. Perhaps noticing some sounds that are relatively constant and others that come and go, some quickly, some slowly. Aim to give the sense of hearing your full awareness and listen deeply to what is happening around you at this moment. For connecting more fully with the senses can help us feel more grounded and present. And focusing particularly on the transitory nature of sounds can remind us that everything changes, even things we cannot directly control. And so we can practice just sitting with things until they're ready to pass, letting them be until they eventually let go.
As we begin to listen more deeply, we might also notice that behind all this noise is a place of silence from which sounds appear and then dissipate, each in their own time, often without our direct control. So I encourage you to keep listening deeply now, observing the silence in the background of all these sounds. And just as sounds come and go from a backdrop of silence, our thoughts and emotions are also transitory, moving forward and back into a background of stillness. And although some may persist longer than others, they do eventually pass in their own time, whether or not we choose to directly focus on them. So just as we can listen to sounds without controlling them, we can also simply witness thoughts and feelings without trying to control or engage with them too much. So let's observe now as though from a distance what's happening in the foreground of the mind at this moment. Listen to what you're thinking and feeling and know that it's completely normal and okay for the mind to wander or to feel strong emotions. This is part of being human and something we all experience, particularly when tired and facing many challenges. But know that in time these thoughts and feelings will naturally soften and shift as all things do especially when we take time to simply witness what is and allow ourselves to be. Now I invite you to pay attention to what is in the background of these thoughts and feelings. Perhaps there is a sense of stillness or open awareness that you can connect with for a short while. If thoughts keep coming and going as they tend to do, just acknowledge these and aim to bring the attention back to that stillness and awareness that lies beyond the thought. Allow some time to simply be. Witnessing the attention moving naturally between thoughts and feelings to that restful, open awareness in the background of your mind. Notice what you can let go of and what you can let be. Now bring your attention back to the breath and allow it to deepen a little. Begin to focus more fully on the body once more and notice any sensations around the head, the face, the neck. Allow the shoulders to soften as you bring your attention down through the arms, the torso, the legs and the feet. Focus on the whole body now and feel its connection with the breath and mind, allowing everything to just be. And to close our meditation, I'd like to share a quote by Jack Cornfield. To let go does not mean to get rid of. To let go means to let be. When we let be with compassion, things come and go on their own. So please take a slightly deeper breath now. And begin to gently open the eyes if you haven't already done so. Notice how you feel. Notice if anything has shifted, perhaps physically or mentally, as we've been working on letting go at different levels of your being. I hope this practice has been helpful for you and that you might feel inspired to keep practicing letting go and letting be.